Howdy folks, this is Jethro. Hope you all are doing good today. Uh, doing, uh, I'm doing pretty well. It's been just over a week since knee surgery and it's uh, it's coming along pretty well. I'm feeling pretty decent out getting out and around and getting my footing under me. So uh, hopefully I'll be back to normal in another week or so, as normal as I ever was anyway. Um, what's on today is, uh, what's on the bench is what's coming up today that's what this video is about um kim over at kim's custom garage he's uh he's in denmark good distance away from us here in the states but uh, he came up with uh with an idea uh, the 32 ford is 90 years old this year and he's doing a group build a 32 ford appreciation build um i know we've all Probably most of us have built some 32 Fords. Um, that's always been one of my favorites. 32 Ford, the Model A, the traditional hot rods is kind of my favorite group of cars. So I really, um, I really enjoy going to car shows and seeing them. It's uh, they've always so many different ways you can build one. So uh, he's doing that build, and what I've got here is I've only got three choices of of 32 Fords to. To build, I got the uh, got the old five window coupe from Ravel, and I got the three window coupe from Ravel, and I've got Dan Fink's speed wagon. A couple of, about a year and a half ago, or so probably about a year ago, I built this little roadster here, the 32 Ford. Um, built it as a little race of gentlemen's car, a little kind of a kind of a traditional hot rod with a four cylinder in it and all. I uh, had a lot of fun with that one. And out of those three, I've decided to go with the Dan Fink's Speed Wagon. I've had this kit for over 20 years now, so I figure it's about time I ought to break into it and build it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and open it up here and just see what's going on with it. Got the instructions. Everything's still in its original bag, so... That's a good sign. That means probably all the parts are still there. Basically not. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot of parts to this one. Uh, that and I got a couple of chrome trees and a and a clear tree and that's kind of what we got. It looks like we might have a few little yeah we got a few rubber tire marks on my clear glass. So got to do a little polishing on that. It doesn't look too bad. I'm sure I can save that. So, and the chrome tree. So, um, I'm looking forward to doing this build. I'm not sure exactly which direction I'm going to go with it. Um, I don't do very many just by the box builds and I don't think I'm going to go with that. That's already been done. Um, so I'll probably come up with a few little changes on it. Um, uh, still going to keep with what I like about this kit is for me personally, I like to keep the manufacturers pure. I, I like to keep the Ford and the Ford. This one's got, doesn't have a flathead in it and that's okay. It's got a, it's got a 5.0 or a 3.02 for us old school guys. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get into this one. And I'm going to see what I can do with it. And I uh, just want to say thanks to Kim for hosting the group build and I uh, also want to be sure and say thank you to all my subscribers and a lot of you guys have been with me for a few years now. I've had the channel for about three or four years now, I think. So a lot of you guys have been around for a while. I've had quite a bit in the last year. My channel's grown quite a bit and I really appreciate you guys coming on board and watching my videos and putting up with my goofiness and all of that. And, uh, so I just want to say thanks to all you guys and uh, I'm going to put up a link for Kim's channel at the bottom and uh, that's about it for now. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get into this one and see if I can get started on it and see what I can come up with. Again, I appreciate you guys watching and commenting. So I uh, hope you all are doing well and have a good weekend coming up. Uh, this is Jethro over and out.